going through some seeds. Look at all this. I have a bunch of seeds that I had to get together this weekend and it was so much fun. We exchanged seeds, gardening tips. We just had a really, really good time. So if you can find your tribe and have get togethers like that, it's super useful. I cannot wait to have another one. I'm in my gardening table. This gardening table is indoor. This one my husband built for me. And I have another one on the other side of the garage. I have a whole grow room in my garage set up. I really love it because our winters are so bad here in the Pacific Northwest that I like to have a potting table, a whole grow area in my garage and it's super cozy there. But today I am going to talk about my potting table outdoors. So I know there's so many choices for a potting table and I want to go over materials, what is the best location you can be the most productive with it, and also what to store. Sometimes we just put a lot of junk in our potting table so we don't know what to keep there and I've gotten it down to like the essentials. And also how to decorate it. You know me, I love to decorate and I like to make it super cozy so that I feel like it's just very inviting. So I'll show you how I style it and see if any of this helps you with your potting table ideas. The first thing you need to think of is where are you going to locate your potting table? It'll make the biggest difference. I have mine, as you can see, right outside of those sliding doors. I will go over a floor plan so you understand where it is and it may help you locate yours. Mine is between the patio and the kitchen, right outside the sliding doors. The reason I do this is so that I can harvest, take it to the potting table, sort through everything, and then bring it inside to process my harvest. Material is important, but mine, you know, it's not tick, it's not cedar, and it's lasted me. It's going on three years now. So I just cover in the winter to go ahead and preserve it, but you can go ahead and get what you can afford as long as the size works for you. I also, the best thing that I ever do is have my pruners. I keep mine on a little ceramic uh, pot. I put a sand and vegetable oil, and that's what I have on the top shelf. This makes them last a lot longer and you don't have to treat them so often. I like adding that little container to keep the smaller tools that I need outside because I use them way too often. You know how much I love baskets. They add so much dimension to any single surface. I love to be able to go work in the garden and go ahead and use the basket to harvest. Think of your potting table as another gardening tool. It really is an extension of just your bag of gardening tools, but fixed. One of the secrets of styling is to go ahead and add something special that means something to you. For me, are crystals. I love them and I have them everywhere. My potting table, my outdoor coffee table, my fire pit, you'll see them all over the place. Also, the bin in your potting table, I love having it. It really helps to be able to put the soil or fertilizer, whatever you're working with, and not make a mess. I know you probably noticed that marble piece. I put a marble cutting board to help me be able to clean and for the table to last a lot longer. It, it does help a lot. So if you can find an affordable one, go ahead and add it to the top of your potting table. I like to have a lot of pots, but they can get expensive. So I buy the simple ones and I do a dry airbrush sort of technique. And you can see on the right that I added a little bit of soil and just brushed it in and you can seal it after that. Little things like that help a cold table just feel a lot warmer and have a little sort of nostalgic feel to it. One of the best things I love to do is to put fertilizers, different types of vegetables and flour and my worm compost in little bags. And that way I can take that little basket all around the garden without having to carry a heavy bag around.
Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Melba and I'm an urban gardener. I have a super tiny backyard where I grow a ton of food and flowers. So if you're interested in that, give us a follow. I post every single week. Thinking about the vertical part of the potting table is important. I like to use these little hooks and then I have this sort of tape. I don't know what you call it. I'll try to find the link, but I replaced the one that it brings with this sort of transparent little sticky stuff and it works so much better. I put alcohol on the wall, let it dry, and then I adhere it to the wall. When you're looking at designing your potting table, you have to look at the wall, at the floor, at the plants around, and really just create an environment, not just design the potting table. I think one drawer is plenty and I like to keep less is more because if I have too much stuff then it will be a mess and it will be just a frustration for me. Some of the things I keep are plant tags, scissors, an outdoor pen, exacto, a hammer, bags if I want to carry more fertilizer, uh, a meter to measure the water content, a sprayer, and some hooks that I use on and off and of course that little hummingbird feeder in case I feel inspired to try it one day. Extra fertilizer and some gloves. But go ahead and look at the blog if you want to see exactly what are some other suggestions of what you can keep. Bamboo sticks are critical for me. I use them constantly so I keep a butter bowl and I go ahead and add them in there and they become part of the decoration and by the end of the season I barely have any in that pot. I will confess there was something missing and it dawned on me that I have bought something that I think would really help this table, so I'm going to be adding it. If you like this video, go ahead and watch my small garden tour and learn how to design your own beautiful garden. I hope you feel inspired for the new year to go ahead and organize your potting table for more of a productive experience in the garden.